Hi, I'm Lou Manfredini, Ace's home expert. Replacing your backsplash can be a costly project, but did you know you can paint it? Let me show you how it's done. Now the steps we're taking to complete this backsplash project are suitable for the material that we're working with. Now, depending on what your backsplash is made of, a good idea is to take a picture of it and go to your local Ace Hardware store and talk to the associate in the paint department to make sure they get you the materials and products you need to get terrific results. For this project, we're gonna be painting a tile backsplash and really, no matter what it might be back there, adding a new coat of paint can really change the entire look. Now, with any paint job, it's all about prep work, so you wanna make sure you're doing that before you apply any paint. As you can see, we put some tarps down and uh, took off any of the covers you know, from the uh, outlets or switches that might be there. And because we're gonna be using a TSP, a trisodium phosphate, you're just gonna kind of damply uh, wet a sponge and get rid of any of the grease or oil that might be on there. And I'm gonna use some tape just to protect the countertop to make sure that we're not uh, getting any uh, on that and damaging that. So you just wanna kind of put that over the edge of the splash just so it doesn't collect there. Again, depending on what that material is, you don't want it to be damaged by the cleaner. With a TSP, you definitely wanna wear gloves. I put a little warm water in this container right here, and I'm gonna use a sponge here to kinda of get it wet. Now, I don't want it super wet, right? I just want it damp. TSP does a really nice job of degreasing and cleaning, and then you're just gonna kinda of wipe this away and kinda of work around uh, any areas to make sure that um, all of the uh, debris or dirt on there is removed so that you can come back over it and, uh, and do the paint. It would be a good idea to also use clean water once you wipe it all down with the TSB to kind of clean it and rinse it, let that dry, and then we're ready to do the painting. For this particular backsplash, because it's tile, it's a good idea to not only wash it, but I like to use a medium grit sanding sponge to sort of scuff up the surface before applying the primer and the finished paint. For the priming, we're using Ace Royal Interior Exterior Primer with Stain Halt technology. We wanna work to get into those grooves, you know, all the grout lines from the tile. And I, I want you to look quickly with this at the camera. You see how you can still see a little bleeding through of the color there. That's okay. The primer is not gonna cover it like a paint. It's just giving you that base, that bonding, so that the finished paint that we put over the top of that will cover really well. And you just gotta take your time and keep priming. The primer is done. This particular product that we use dries to the touch in about 30 minutes, but you should not top coat for two hours. So now we wait. We're gonna put the paint on, and what we're using is Ace Cabinet Door and Trim Paint. I know it doesn't say backsplash, but you can use this paint on that surface. Now, the Alcatex, which is what it uses, it's an alkalid-based paint, meaning that it's self-leveling, super sticky, and when you first put it on, you may see a little bit of streaking, but then as it dries, it kinda of gives you that nice, smooth finish, almost, like it's been sprayed on, but we're gonna use a combination of a brush and a roller to apply it to the surface. Okay, the color we're using is called Stone Fireplace, and I'm using a three inch roller that we wanna get a fair amount of material on, and then once you kinda of squeeze it out a little bit, we're ready to apply it. This is a semi-gloss finish, and with this, three eighths inch nap roller, this is gonna allow you to have enough thickness in the roller to get into the grooves of the um, grout lines from the tile. And the, the trick here is to get it nice and smooth, no roping, you don't wanna to push too hard so that it squeezes or drips. So as you're applying it, you really wanna pay attention to make sure that you don't get any drips because you don't wanna to have to come back and sand those off. Now with a semi-gloss finish, the benefit there is with a backsplash, especially around the stove or the sink area here, any splashing with that nice hard semi-gloss finish will make it easy to keep clean and wipe up anything that might 
kind of splash up on top of there. So as you can see, this is a quick project. There's not a huge interruption for changing the look of your backsplash. And you can go from this to this. Now, if you need more information or help, you can always go to your local Ace Hardware store. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you can always visit us at acehardware.com. Remember, Ace is the helpful place.